Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about the um, comparison of the growth rate between the up arrows, chain arrows, and the linear array notation from BEAF beef. So this is request by some people because they said they don't quite understand how the chain arrows and the linear array works. They kind of understand the up arrows um, and also, you know, what does f omega plus 1 looks like, what is f omega plus 2 plus 3, etc, and etc, or omega plus omega, what does that look like uh, in up arrows or chain arrows or the B, E, A, F. So let's get started. So first of all, let's look at up arrows. So let's start with the easier one first. So this is very straightforward, f of m of n. So this is the fast boy hearty. This is around or slightly uh, greater than 2 with m minus 1 up arrows n so you can see the pattern over here so for example f4n is it grows slightly faster than 2 with 3 arrows n so the number of arrows here is m minus 1 and similarly for f of omega n it grows slightly faster than f with n minus 1 up arrows n and this is this thing over here it grows uh, exactly the same as the Ackermann function and as we know the Ackermann function is similar to Graham's function uh, but it grows slower than Graham's function as you can see uh, pretty obviously because the Graham sequence is 3 with g n minus 1 3 so the number of arrows in the g sequence is g of n minus 1. So let's say g64, there are g63 number of up arrows. And if you're talking about the Ackermann function or f omega n, there are around n number of up arrows. And obviously, this is not 64 arrows. Graham's number is way bigger than 64 arrows. There are g63 up arrows instead of g64. So therefore, we can already tell that Graham sequence grows faster than f of omega n because the number of up arrows is not n, but g of n minus 1 of arrows. And next, f of omega plus 1, therefore it grows around the same as the Gram's function. Actually, it grows slightly faster than this. But anyway, give you an idea. So what about f of omega plus 2? So what does it look like? Actually, it's not that difficult to understand. In this case, you just iterate. I mean, let's of course, using Gram's function as an example here. So in this case, omega plus 2 is just you start iterating the g function. So it looks something like this. Similarly, again, all of these are just approximation. It's not exact. So g, 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 g with n number of g's n, that would be uh, around the growth rate of f of omega plus 2. For omega plus 3, similarly, um, you know, kind of looks like Graham's number again. So you iterate the number of levels over here. The number of levels here will be n. And of course, uh, for the next one, f of omega plus 4, of course, you can, you know, to make things simple, you can try, you know, let's say this thing over here is n, or is a of n. Let's say this function here is a of n. So for omega plus 4, so a of n will have a growth rate of around omega plus 3. So for a omega plus 4, it's just iterating the a function over here. So you just keep repeating the same method in order to get, you know, omega plus m. So that's how you get up the uh, fast growing hierarchy ladder. You just keep repeating the same process again and again. So this is how up arrows look like in the fast growing hierarchy as you go up. What about chain arrows? So chain arrow, as we know, it grows faster than up arrows. So what does it look like in terms of the fast growing hierarchy? So for two entry chain arrow, let's say three arrow three, it just means three to the power of three. So this is exactly the same as exponentiation. For three entry, three arrow three arrow three, it just means three with three up arrows three, very straightforward. So in other words, three arrow three arrow n three entry, its growth rate is already f of omega n. For, and this is for three entry. So for four entries chain arrow, so three, three, n plus 1, 2, so this is 4 entry over here, the growth rate is around f of omega plus 1n already. 
The next one, 33n plus 1, 3, the growth rate is f of omega plus 2n. So this is how you get up the ladder for a chain arrow. It's a lot simpler because the growth rate is a lot faster than just up arrow. So in that case, you just change the last entry. You add 1 to the last entry. That's how you're already getting up the ladder for, you know, omega plus 1, omega plus 2. And, well, actually, this is omega plus 3. There's a typo here. But anyway... It's a lot more straightforward than using the up arrows by, you know, to in order to go up the ladder because this grows much faster. So for 3, 3, 3, n plus 1, this is still 4 and 3. The growth rate is already f of omega plus omega n, or in other words, f of omega times 2 n. And you can read this yourself. That's how you get up the ladder again. So for, this is 5 and 3 over here, 3, 3, 3, 3, n plus 1. It's already f of omega times 3 and so way beyond just simply up arrows already. Um, you can't you cannot get to this level using just simply up arrows. And then the next one, um, so in order to go even higher, you know you can read this yourself, but the last one here, this is the uh, the limit for the regular chain arrow notation, so 3, 3, er, you know, arrow, arrow for um, the number of terms here is n plus 2. The growth rate is around f of omega square n. So this is omega times omega. And this is the limit for the regular chain arrow notation. And this is also the CG function, the Conway guy function. So CGN has the same growth rate as this. So what about beef or the linear array? Of course, we're just gonna talk about linear array. We're not going multi-dimensional array here. So again, already beef is even more powerful than chain arrows. So let's see. So for three entry linear array, well, it's very similar to chain arrow. So three, three arrows, three. And the next one, uh, four entry is what we are gonna focus here. So n, n, one, two. Its growth rate is already f of omega plus 1n, and then nn2, 2, 2 is omega plus 2, and then n2 is omega times 2. So you can kind of see the pattern over here. So for nnn3 is omega times 3 already. You know, it grows pretty quickly. Um, and then for uh, nnnn, 4 entry is already f of omega square n. So this thing over here, 4 entry beaf, is already grow around the same as the limit for a chain arrow notation. Actually grows slightly faster than that because this is n plus two terms. And then, uh, and this is just four entries. This is n number of entries, actually n plus two number of entries. And then what about five entries B is already f of omega cube. And then for n with six n's over here, the growth rate is f of omega to the fourth n. And you can again see the pattern over here. So for n number of entries over here with n number of n's, the growth rate is around f of omega to the power of n minus 2n. In other words, the maximum, the limit for this linear array notation is around f of omega to the omega n. So way faster than the regular chain arrow notation. So this is a quick video on, you know, how does the growth rate compare between three similar uh, function up arrows, chain arrows, and linear array of BEAF. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.